Hey everyone. Um, so we've heard from a number of customers lately that they need some more, like some more info on a better utilize the custom reporting and custom fields and more specifically, how do they can uh, better utilize that for their sales process. So what I'm going to start doing is rolling out some small videos like this. that kind of quickly walk you through how to use them and hopefully educate you enough that um, you can you know, take this further. Right. Um, so specifically what we're going to do today is, you know, I want, you want your salesperson every day to be able to wake up and see what they have to do today, what appointments they're going to run. So we want to create a, like my upcoming appointments custom view for that salesperson. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Um, first thing is we're going to go to our custom fields, go to settings, go to custom fields here. And you'll see that there's a whole lot of fields. We already give you turnkey. You can edit any one of these, all create your own, but really what I'm going to focus on are three different ones, salesperson, appointment and notes. Um, utilizing these three will be able to kind of create a pretty generic but a specific custom view for that salesperson. So we'll go to our customer directory here and you know a lot of you default to this all leads and customers view here. Um, what we're going to go ahead and do is click the settings tool and go to columns. So first thing is we don't need all this data. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the vast majority of this. I'll keep name, primary contact and location I'll hide the vast majority of these. I will keep salesperson. I might even move that up to the top here. Um, and then I'll keep appointment and let's say notes for now. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and save as and call this my upcoming appointments. Save. So right now it's showing me all customers, whether they have open jobs or uh, not open jobs or closed, not closed, that belong to uh, really anybody, right? So now what do I need to start doing is applying filters. So I'm going to come to filters. We'll keep archive does not exist, meaning we don't want an archive customer here, obviously. And then I'm going to say, and the salesperson is Riley. So it belongs to me in this example. Apply. And so now we're looking at a view with all customers that aren't archived that belong to me. But again, it could be active jobs, could have, it couldn't have it a, or maybe an appointment hasn't been set yet either. So then I'm going to say, and appointment is after, we'll say one day ago. So really all that means is I'm saying this appointment exists after yesterday. So it's always going to be current and ahead of us, right? We'll save and apply. And then I'm going to go ahead and add one more and say, and open jobs, let's see here, open jobs is less than one. So the idea here is, I'm sure all of you are aware, you know, once you're ready to set or once you're ready to start creating an estimate or a budget for a customer, you know, send them a proposal, you would have done that by creating a job for them. So the idea is that there shouldn't be an open job for this individual because you haven't ran the appointment yet. Once you're on site, you convert or you generate a job for said customer and you start putting together an estimate. Um, so again, to kind of walk through this, customer hasn't been archived, the sales, whoever the salesperson is, you identify as, you say this appointment is after yesterday or from now on, and there aren't any open jobs for this. And that's what you're immediately met, met with here. But lastly, the other little small thing we should do is you go to sort here, and I'm gonna get rid of name, and I'm going to add a field and we'll say appointment here. Let's see here. And we'll go ahead and apply that. And now you'll see that's going to be in order. So this one's at Thursday, August 11th at 9 a.m. This one's at Thursday, August 11th at 3 p.m. And August 15th and August 18th. So it's going in order. And what's great about this too is this is a quick view. So I can go and save this as my primary default view so that you or a salesperson can instantly open this up and see, okay, who's the customer? Where is it? When is it? And then what notes do I have regarding this job? Like maybe they called your office or, you know, emailed you guys, just giving you some specific notes on the job. So, or the potential job that is. So you know what to expect before you walk in. Um, hopefully this was helpful. We can plan on continuing to do more things like this. If you have any questions or specific requests or anything like that, let us know. Thank you.